Hello everybody, my name is Akirito. Today I'd like to teach you how to play Stand Up Fit In by 1 o'clock. Yeah, so first thing first, I'm going to teach you how to play the each chord. And secondly, I'm going to teach you how to strum. The lastly, I'm going to teach you how to play the introduction part I just showed you. And also, I'll add, after the tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce the word you know, there are some Japanese part in this song, so I will explain how to pronounce each, you know, lines one by one. So if you're interested, please take a look at that part as well. So here we go, let's get started. First thing first, the chords. The first chord you need to know is E minor. Pointer finger should be on the 2nd fret of the 1st string the middle finger should be on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string the finger should be on the 4th fret of the 3rd string that's E minor the next chord is C it's super easy link finger on the 3rd fret of the 1st string this is C the next chord is G with a pointer finger 2nd fret of the 3rd string Middle finger should be on the 2nd fret of the 1st string Link finger should be on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string That's G The last chord you need to know is D Pointer finger should be on the 2nd fret of the top string Middle finger should be on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string your link finger should be on the second fret of the second string. So you should, you know, put your fingers top three strings of the second string. Sorry, second fret. Mm. So that's D. You only need these four chords. And it's basically a repetition of E minor and C and G and D. Just repeat them until the end. And basically that's all done. Well, but sometimes you omit the D and just play G. Um, you'll get it when you see the singing part. So, move on to the strumming pattern of this song. So, as an example, I'm going to use E minor. Remember this one? So, I'll show you the pattern of this song. Okay, so it's simple. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So when you're down with your point finger, pointer finger, down, down. When you're up, use your really freshy part of your point, pointer finger and up, up, down, up. Okay, so I will go slow. Just repeat and practice until you can play really smoothly, okay? Now, move on to the introduction part. So first, I'm going to show you the introduction of this song. So uh, first chord is E minor and play okay so by the way you how to use right hand so it's really easy to play solo with this in a way I wish I'll show you first with the thumb it should be on you know upper part of the fourth string and your pointer finger should be the bottom part of the third string and with your middle finger it should be on the bottom part of the second string. You know, it's the same thing with the ring, ring, ring finger. It should be on the first string, the bottom part. So when you bend your fingers, then you can play the each strings 
and you can control them. Like if you want to play the second string, you can just bend the middle finger, right? So this is how you play, you know, the solo. This is one of the tips I will give you. So here, the first chord is E minor, as I said, and play the middle two strings. Sorry, no, play. So first thing first, play the first string and play bottom three strings twice and lift your pointer finger, your le left hand, you know, and play the first string and play top string and second string. So it goes like this. Okay, the next chord is C. It's a little bit different from the normal C. So uh, with your yeah, link finger and put it on the third fret of the second string, not the first string, okay? Play middle two strings, first string, play and put your point finger on the second fret of the first string and play twice. So it goes like this. Go down, down. Then moving on to G. So G shape and play bottom three strings twice. And play first string as you play the first string. Put your pinky on the third fret of the first string. And put it on and put it off. And then as you play the first string again, just take off this finger and just play the first string. And moving on to D. So play D and play the middle two string of D three times and put your pinky on the third fret of the second string and play it. Okay, start or go slow. Then So just repeat this one twice, then you can get the introduction part. Now I'd like to show you the singing part, but first I, I have to mention that you can download the code sheet from the description box down below. There is a Google Drive link, you can just click it and you can find the PDF file. Also I have a Patreon account. If you can support me, that's awesome. I put the link in the description box down below as well. So now, singing part. I know they don't like me that much. Guess that I don't dress how they want I just wanna be myself I can be someone else Try to color inside their lines Try to live a life by their sign I just wanna be myself I Stand up, fit in. 
ステンダーフィリングラジトの繰り返して飽き飽きしている日々ただ自分らしくありたいありのままで can be someone else they yell they preach I've heard it all before be this be that I've heard it before heard it before big boy don't cry shoot low game high heat up stay things stand up feeding good girls don't fight be you dress right white face down skin stand up feeding stand up feeding stand up feeding Stand up, fit in. Stand up, fit in. I am who I am, no matter what. Never changing, no matter what, no matter what.、Ah. Big boys don't cry, shoot low, aim high, eat up, stay, think, stand up, fit in. Good girls don't fight. Be you dress right. White face, tan skin, stand up, fit in. Big boys don't cry. Shoot low, aim high. Eat up, stay thin. Stand up, fit in. Good girls don't fight. Be you dress right. White face, tan skin, stand up, fit in. Stand up, fit in. Stand up, fading. Stand up, fading. Stand up, fading. How was it? Okay, now I'm going to explain how to pronounce the Japanese part. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Okay. 同じことの繰り返しで飽き飽きしている日々 So this part 同じ means the same こと means things the same things の繰り返しで No is like signifies of Yeah the same thing Repetition of the same thing So 繰り返し means repetition 繰り返し And maybe I explained in other tutorial videos in Japanese You pronounce R like L. So you, you can just replace it with L. That works. Onaji koto no kuri kaishi de. So it means the same thing again and again. Next one. Aki aki shite iru hibi. Aki aki means you're bored with it. Aki is part of adjective. Akiru. Akiru means you're bored. So, hmm. Aki aki steiru. Steiru means you're being in that situation. So, being bored. And hibi means every day. So, really boring every day. So, yeah. The same thing happens and again and again. And you got bored. So, let's pronounce it together as well. Onaji koto no kuri kaishi de aki aki steiru hibi. 同じことの繰り返して飽き飽きしている日々 Yeah, something like that So, moving on ただ自分らしくありたいありのままでただ Only, just It means like something like that 自分らしくありたい自分 means myself 自分らしく means、um, like myself as I am Yeah So, I just wanna be myself. Yeah. Aritai means aritai means you wanna be something like that. Ari no mama de. Ari no mama de means who you are. Yeah. Be who you are.、Mm. So, yeah, it means the same. Like, tada jibun la shikari tai and ari no mama de is it, totally the same meaning. So, let's pronounce it. ただ自分らしくありたいありのままで
Okay, so that's the Japanese part. If you like these videos, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.